Hi, this is Jonesy with Jetters Northwest and welcome to the Brute Hydro Jetter training session. In this video, we'll get you acclimated to your new Brute Jetter, go through operations, go through the nozzles, and of course, cover a little bit of maintenance and safety and get you set up to get started. Now this video will cover operations and maintenance for really all types of the, what we call the second generation Brute Jetter, which came out in 2016. You can see this is a four wheel cart model. This is a mountable skid model. Uh, this is a 12 gallon a minute 3000, or we call it a 3012. This is a nine gallon a minute 4000 PSI. Uh, both of these are gasoline engine units. You might have a propane unit that is uh, something like eight and a half gallons a minute 3500 PSI or one of the alternate specs. Um, this one has wireless remote control. This one does not. Uh, this one has an adjustable speed motorized hose reel. This one has a simple hand crank. Uh, my point is that the training will cover both. Um, and one thing to cover is if you've purchased a skid, notice that it is totally convertible to the four wheel cart type. Or if you purchased a four wheel cart, it is totally convertible to skid. They are really inherently the same design, same frame, same machine. So right off the bat, uh, we're going to do most of the work really today with the skid because it has a lot of the features, the, the options that some of you have purchased. But definitely want to get in the picture of the hand crank uh, four wheel cart basic unit. On the wireless remote units, you will not have this throttle control on the panel. So if you did not get wireless, you'll be using the throttle here. So I want to make a point of that before we get started. But from here on out, we're pretty much going to work with the full featured machine. All right, right off the bat, let's get you acclimated with the control center of your Brute Jetter. Of course, up on top, we have the hose reel and the hose reel controls. We'll come back to that. Let's start over here on the left. This is what we call the flow control valve. You might call it the jetting on-off valve. Uh, right now, it's in the down position. That is what we call the safety position in that when the jetter is running, in fact, as soon as you start the engine, the pump is pumping and this valve in the down position is basically sending all the water that the pump is pumping back to your water tank. Okay, so the water is never completely cut off like a, say, a pressure washer would when you let go of the trigger. No, we're just literally dumping the water flow and pressure. So naturally, to start jetting, you just raise this up toward the hose and reel and that directs the water from the pump through the hose and ultimately to the jetting nozzle. So, jetting on, jetting off. And you can see it's marked here, flow on, flow off. So flow control, jetting control, same thing. Uh, moving over, this is your pressure regulator. This is a pressure regulating unloader valve. So what this does is if the pressure gets up above whatever this is set for and out of the factory from here, it's going to be pretty much typically set for maximum. This machine is 3000 PSI maximum, so the regulator is set for that. Um, if you wanted to run, say you're cleaning an orange bird or a soft pipe and you wanted to do 2000 PSI max no matter what, on a sensitive pipe you could back it off. And what this will do, no matter what you throttle up to, if the pressure comes up to, say, 2000 where you had it set, it's going to divert water back to the water tank. Okay, so a point being, if you want to adjust pressure, don't do it with this valve. This is for jetting on, jetting off. This is where you can fine tune in your pressure with the pressure regulating unloader valve. Okay, next, let's move along to the rest of the control panel. Here is your pressure gauge, of course. Uh, you'll see it reads all the way up to five or 6,000 PSI, depending on your model. Uh, know this, just because the gauge says five or 6,000 PSI does not mean that the jetter can go that high. Um, gauges like you to be in the mid-range so here we're operating at 3,000 PSI maximum. So that's right in the middle of this 6,000 PSI gauge. You might have uh, the 4009 model, which of course would run at 4,000. Again, we're kind of in that mid range. Uh, point here is when you see this number up here, 3,000 PSI maximum for this being the 3012 model or 4,000 PSI maximum on your 4009, or if you have a propane that is 3,500 this is here in plain sight, so you'll know that is the machine's maximum, okay? The pump might be able to drive up higher than that, and you can get in and play with the unloader and adjust uh, its range and start driving up higher than that. We do not recommend that. That will take you out of warranty because even though the pump might pump it, it will be bogging down the engine 
into an uncomfortable position for it and it's going to wear out early. Okay, so there's a reason for this maximum and we need you to adhere to that no matter what you can adjust up to. Okay, um, moving over here we have the pulsation control. Uh, what is pulsation? Pulsation is a valve that uh, takes the pump a little bit out of sequence for the purpose of making your hose shake. Uh, simply put, this is to help you or help your nozzle pull your hose deeper and deeper into the pipe. Um, you know, as the nozzle's pulling the hose along, it's just dragging on the bottom of the pipe. Well, as you make the hose shake, it helps it hop along to get through elbows um, and work its way up the pipe. Uh, also, a big one, the pulse can help you get unstuck. So as you're pulling back, if your nozzle catches an edge, say like an offset joint or something, and it just doesn't want to come back to you, uh, just crack this open go back forward and a lot of times it will hop right over that edge and just keep coming right back out. So those are the reasons for pulsation. Um, one myth out there is that the pulse helps you jet better. You'll hear things like pulse hammer action and it's just not correct. Um, you'll see actually that when you open up the pulse, the more you open it, the more your pressure drops off because what it does is it takes one of the pump cylinders out of sequence. It's actually lowering your GPM and your PSI. So when you don't need to get unstuck or you don't need your hose to uh, doesn't need a little help with the pulse turn it off your jetter will have more flow have more pressure and it's going to be a lot smoother this is not a healthy thing to have on all the time the pulsation so normally it's off as i've got it turned off there